the best car you can get for transportation from A to B in maximum comfort, safety, quietness in most uh, modern technology. What else do you need? Hello guys and welcome and this is the new S-Class as you can see so now let's go for a drive alright guys so welcome to the all new S-Class this is the largest vehicle which Mercedes-Benz offers as you probably know so right now I'm in a 400D and here I have an Apple CarPlay as you can see the whole interior is new so I suggest we can start driving so here I can see the augmented reality this is the new OLED screen for the central my MBUX infotainment system and here we have the and dashboard and we can go so every generation the S-Class gets better and better so actually right now we are going back where I picked up the car because I forgot the <laughs> I forgot uh, the tripod in my A-Class I was so excited to drive this car so curious about this car that uh, I forgot so we are going back and guys as always I am taking you with me we are in AMG line S class and right now we are in the traffic the Distronic is set to three levels yes and the car keeps very safe distance so uh, the car is ultra quiet in the inside we are in long wheelbase version and now the car has adaptive cruise control the distronic and I'm just cruising uh, on the aromatic air suspension so this is all new generation I have so much space here uh, I can tell you this is the quietest most comfortable car which I ever experienced so uh, in this video I will show you how this car drives what's my feeling about this car and overall I will show you many situations like parking driving at night with ambient lights how the new digital light technology works and during night and overall we show the infotainment exterior interior stuff like that we are starting with driving because to me this is a uh, why you, you do you buy the car to to drive it and you can see here the car accidentally came here because it didn't guess the turn but the car started to break so the safe we actually tried the safety features here works really really great so a lot of controversy and I would say yeah maybe controversy with the new S-Class why did they put these displays here right but I think Mercedes not I think I'm sure Mercedes knows uh, what they are doing and if you see it on the pictures or maybe on videos as you see now uh, of course it's better to experience in person but uh, I can tell you my feelings guys and show you hopefully uh, as best as I possibly can how this car uh, works and what are my feelings about this car so now in the tunnel we can see ambient lighting different lights So now I can see just barely here the tunnel I can open the windows so you can hear it We 
have also panorama roof. All right, guys, so we are out of the tunnel and we have some uh, sunshine now. So here we are in a black Napa AMG line interior. You can see the steering wheel with these two parts. This is super sport version of the steering wheel. And that means that we are in AMG line uh, vehicle which essentially is uh, exterior and also interior styling. Mainly in the interior is the steering wheel and some other parts, but mainly this one, uh, the steering wheel has different design. Personally, I like this steering wheel the best. That's why I'm happy that I took this car for test drive. And also I like uh, really white cars and AMG line from the outside. So to me, this is a must have on the Mercedes-Benz car to have a AMG line package, definitely. So I'm driving uh, here behind the truck on the Distronic. It's very comfortable. The car keeps very safe distance and it's accelerating and braking very smoothly, very slowly and so, so comfortably. So this is uh, just incredible in my opinion. Also, it can steer in the lane and keep dead straight the lane and that's uh, what it is doing right now. The steering wheel is now capacitive, so it's just uh, enough to hold it and the car can register that you are holding it. We can also show you here the navigation and here we have the augmented reality. So from the camera here, it can show you and project uh, arrows here where you should turn and we will soon turn right, as you can see here. If you have a uh, head-up display, which we have now, I hope you can see it. It also shows you uh, the arrows there. But if you have the larger one, then it shows you on the whole, like projects on the whole screen, the arrows in the distance and stuff like that. Watch out, construction on road ahead. And this was a uh, vase. And this is a blind spot monitor. This is very, very user-friendly, this car, and it keeps you in a very safe environment, in my opinion, and in very comfortable uh, environment. So I want to show you my first feelings because this is just my second drive. I did the same, same drive uh, just now but now I'm going back so when I jumped into this car uh, I had a huge smile on my face because this car is uh, just the best car which I drove in terms of comfort of course like we have here this is ultra smooth uh, tarmac here the asphalt I can just lower the window so you can hear we have uh, some wind But if I close the windows, it's so, so quiet. And actually, I have uh, one glass here, so you can also have the double glazed windows, which will add even more comfort. But it's good that I'm driving here without it, because uh, essentially I can test uh, how it is without it and it can be only better with double glazed windows so I'm not sure if you can feel and hear this this quiet environment I hope you can feel it it's really really I'm, I'm just repeating myself but it's true it's so so uh, quiet and comfortable here we have a 9g tronic uh, nine gears and also in this particular car we have the diesel engine so this is 2.9 liter and we can say almost 3 liter a six cylinder inline six cylinder engine 
and uh, diesel engine this will be sold probably only uh, in the Europe and we have also some uh, gasoline petrol versions so uh, I should I had to actually drive the, the plan was that I would drive the s500 the petrol version but um, yeah they had to uh, basically the schedule change it so uh, this one what was uh, offered to me this car and I'm actually quite happy because I wanted to film and see the white car so much because everyone shows the black car in the videos and for me the white cars are really good looking I have also a white A-class so I was really really curious to see it in white and also AMG line also this one has a night package so I will show it to you from the from the outside and yeah this is just uh, wonderfully looking you cannot even hear the engine it's engine is doing like 1000 rpms it's super super nice you can see how the car steers itself can you see so it's doing it very very nicely and even better than in the previous models in the previous new models so now it tells me I should uh, like hold it so you can drive like 20 I would say around 20 seconds without it without holding but obviously you should hold because this is not a level 3 autonomy but this car should have a uh, in Germany as in the first country in the world a level 3 autonomy driving also you can change here the design of this instrument cluster so you can have normal sport here exclusive this is probably my favorite right now you also classic and also navigation so you can see huge screen and assistance here you can see the truck and also cars which are around me so this is also nice and you can see how the cars sees other cars and the car can differentiate between the truck and normal car but always you are responsible for the driving this is not fully autonomous car this is like helping you not uh, not taking responsibility for you service so you can see here in the service tire pressure and tire temperature when should be next service and add blue range that's for diesel engine only not for petrol and you can see engine oil level here that it is okay and if you swipe up then you should be able to control the display for the head-up display So you can have also sport head-up display or minimal head-up display uh, if it's not showing now I will show it to you uh, in detail but I hope you can see it the suspension is just uh, like a magic you can feel the the road but it's uh, how would I describe it it's uh, it's like uh, flying on the magic carpet I would say our car also decelerates because of the we have like curved road so it is doing automatically here you can see arrows where you should turn you can see here this large OLED display but it's uh, when you're using it is actually very good because you have a lot of information you have here augmented reality underneath you have map you can also have uh, other information so to me this is uh, very usable and actually if you are sitting inside you are definitely uh, and differently you are uh, like feeling this car so your perception is different when you are sitting in and driving than when you are looking at it from the outside or even from the from the pictures so you can see here and it will show me error er, uh, arrows not errors hopefully so as you can see here I 
hello guys and this is the second day with S class for me and I even get uh, the button down shirt because you have to wear a button down shirt at least once when you drive the S class because this is the flagship flagship model and yeah it's very nice to to experience this and and you can see now now you can see the car play how it's working with the ways so this is a break this is the newest uh, system for the Apple car plan and also the infotainment uh, my MBUX and with the rear axle steering this is so easy it's crazy to maneuver uh, in uh, like underground in underground garage it's so so easy and now you should see yes the traffic light view so you can see the lights you, because he, here you have a mirror so you cannot see it like you need to lean and with this one you don't have to lean you see everything very nicely these cameras are like I don't know 4k so so good quality from these cameras it's so quiet here so peaceful I think we can move, uh, maybe even try the this tronic how it works because I'm really interested for me personally too because it should work uh, even better now than it was uh, it was before and the yeah. brakes here we tested we, we can test <laughs> these brakes so yeah when you press firmer on the brake pedal then you have a hold function underground garage this was really really comfortable in my opinion because uh, the rear active steering makes uh, a lot of difference so it was I would say like like with my a class uh, very, very similar turning radius and maybe maybe even like uh, easier so that's remarkable to experience this because this is ultra long uh, the longer than this is only my back so huge huge amount of space here on my right knee this is very comfortable yeah overall I'm a huge fan of the new S-Class you can see automatic steering it can hold the lane that straight so here with Waze you can see the navigation fully we have also the MBUX navigation but here in Waze you can see live input from other drivers about accidents police checks and many other stuff so I really like this this app but of course you have uh, your Mercedes navigation which is huge and you have beautiful 3d buildings like here the castle you can see is there and other features like live traffic and overall both of these are great I like this one because it has a uh, live input from other drivers otherwise uh, I would use Mercedes Benz definitely in my own car I use both at the same time and then I uh, switch between them and here you can see the UFO bridge with the fog very nice indeed we have a huge panoramic sunroof and overall this car is just uh, magical to drive so overall the handling has been really improved and rear active steering helped this like enormously it's uh, not even for discussion so this is a huge benefit of this car absolutely and you can see I'm already a little over so I will just lower the speed a little bit okay 
So driving the new S-Class is just uh, super easy and super relaxing. That's actually what you want from the S-Class. The best car you can get for transportation from A to B in maximum comfort, safety, quietness, in, in most uh, modern technology, what else do you need? Maybe power, but for that the, you can have petrol versions and also the AMG versions will come. So it will be absolute like bullet train. This is, a, I would say, like uh, like driving in, in first class in the in the plane. So good. It's the best car which I experienced definitely in terms of the comfort. And now it lowers the speed automatically based on the on the uh, on the road. Continue straight on Paprajka. Okay, so that was the car doing its thing with the distronic. So MG Line Super Sport, uh, Super Sport. Steering wheel, this is my favorite one definitely because uh, it just looks much better than that one which has like this section which is more like a luxury, this one is more like a, like a sporty one. AMG has very very similar to this one like styling on the lower part. Again traffic light view, you can see it here on the screen but maybe in this case uh, you can see it also there so but it's, but it's helpful overall I would say in in many areas this can be really helpful we can try here the acceleration the automatic acceleration with the car okay okay so we are on the on the highway 130 kilometers per hour or 80 miles per hour and honestly this is really good really really quiet automatic steering fully automatic and is doing the job really, really nicely. It tells me I should hold the steering wheel. Now it should slow down. Okay. So it slows down based on the road signs. And it's doing, you know, very, very smoothly. So it can also detect here, 60. Also it can do based on the GPS, but here this is very new section. It's already actually here, so. But, uh, yeah. So it's already at the, which I'm actually surprised because uh, on the map is not always as as fast you know and we can test the acceleration and we are at the speed limit here but the speed limit should continue to be higher next time a little bit more further but yeah very very nice okay so now 130 So I'm really surprised with aerodynamic sound and noise levels of this car. But I will go also back because maybe we are facing wind. So it's better to test it uh, uh, on the other way as well. We can test here the, how the car behaves on the highway. I have here my ways, navigation to the shopping mall because I want to test the rear axle steering 
and also automatic parking assist so you'll see about that but uh, yeah it's very very nice this car very quiet so great great on the highway but still very very good very good sound classical Burmester is just crazy, even though this is not the 4D, it's really, really good. So on the highway here we have, a, I would say, very, very nice sound isolation. Not sure how the mic is picking up, but definitely if I compare this to, to, to the other cars, it's much, much quieter than, uh, than cars uh, which I drove before. So yeah, definitely a great improvement. Uh, also be in between in, in comparison with the with the previous generation of the 222 so very very nice here you have these designs so this one is the exclusive we have also sport also these changes as well together so this is like pulsating you have also this 3d menu where where you move your head the display changes as well for me this is not a necessary personally and you have all the, also when it's in 3d mode it has to be probably more dimmed so the brightness is not um, the same but it feels like yeah it feels like uh, it's 3d so uh, personally for me this is the 2d for me personally is, is uh, more comfortable also because I have this uh, C nausea or how is it called uh, in English is not very good for me uh, on the on the boat so this is like I'm, I'm not saying it's the same but it gives you this uh, sensation that for me it's better to don't I don't have it for too long so uh, 
otherwise very very nice uh, grab piece I really really like this understate is like nothing and then in classic we have this more classical you cannot change what is inside of this instrument cluster uh, which was possible in the previous so that's the that's the, the new layout navigation you can see a really huge map so you can have uh, Mercedes map here you can have ways here and be like a road a road navigator so very very nice option also to have it here because this looks a little bit different than this one this is more like a I don't know not video game but it looks uh, like a, yeah like this and this looks more like serious a serious map we have service here so in service you can see tire pressure tire temperature engine oil level and when should be next service and also the add blue range that's for uh, diesel only and we have also temperature of the of the engine coolant and you have a uh, your gear so we are on nine gear at the moment so overall a really a great cruiser the new s-class and I cannot wait for the new for the new c-class to see it and especially to drive it because it will be like a like a baby baby s-class we can say with the layout with the real drive and everything so it will be uh, really great in my humble opinion but we have to see to try it first okay guys so I will see you next at the, at the parking all right guys so now we will test how the distronic works with stop and go traffic so you can see assistance here and in front of me there is a fuel truck and the car can recognize that this is a truck so I think okay so there is a there is a time when the car can move itself but not when you have a, like a, a hold function which when I press the pedal so it needs to do that automatically but I, I had the hold myself but then just lightly tap into the gas pedal and it will start to to move automatically so uh, very nice and it's doing really smoothly so you don't feel anything is uh, pure comfort here with the s-class and now braking and again starting to move so the truck in front of me braked quite quite hard so I prefer to keep it at four levels just to be safe so yeah really really great system in 300 meters keep left here you can see too It really is a great system this 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 turning system keep left to Gagarinova and here we have some uneven road not the best asphalt but in 700 meters exit to D1 direction Delina Mitra Airport as you can see the car is also here I have it on four levels I think yes just to be just to be safe but yeah it looks really really works really fantastically so now these assistants in the new s class are so good that you may actually want to use them because they are so good that meters, you you will be you will be really satisfied satisfied with them also now the car has like 90 km per hour set but because we are in turns like quite uh, aggressive not hugely but for the car it's 
the car wants to give you the best comfort so it slows down in these bends in the, in the corners already it can recognize Other cars here on here on the here on the display you can see other cars. So the car is fully aware what what is happening on the road. So yeah, this car uh, will get level three autonomy. As Use a the right lane to turn right to Direction Avion, IKEA. As then a at the roundabout, take the first exit. As a first car in the world. So that's pretty a big deal, in my opinion. And not in mine, but in every opinion, because this car, as class as a first car, will get uh, the level three autonomy here. It will have like these silver buttons. We saw that already and and then the car could drive itself without you holding the steering wheel but you need to pay attention obviously on the road and uh, in case something happens like so I don't know something you need to take over obviously or actually when you finish the drive on the highway you will need to take over as well. It's not, it's not uh, by legislation allowed, like go from A to B, but we saw that Mercedes is capable of doing that. So yeah, now at the car park, uh, oh, but this is closed. <laughs> I wanted to go there, but it's closed, but we can go, I think, into the underground. So there is like turning. Yes, we can go here. So it's very easy to maneuver with this car. Actually, I can can tell you because I have an A-Class and this feels very similar uh, to the A-Class. So I think I will just turn on the cameras here so I can see. This has 360 ultra high definition, I don't know, maybe even 4K cameras. So I think yes, we can try the parking assist as well. Yeah, it's scanning. Okay, I was <laughs> like, what is the sound here? That was actually the, the sound. So, okay, so we can try some spaces. We can try like this one. You can uh, put it how you want. Forwards, backwards, we will do uh, backwards this time select park pack and uh, select park button under uh, display okay okay so that's easy now the car should do it itself nobody is here around me uh, i mean and it's doing uh, quite slowly that i'm happy because <laughs> It would be scary to do it uh, fast and this is uh, the first Mercedes which can park actually um, okay stop stop okay I was, I was just scared that it will go to the to the wall but <laughs> no it just wanted to go like as far as possible because uh, this car is just huge, so you will stick out e even with the normal parking space. As you can see here. So yeah, this is how the car parked. I'm pretty happy with it. It just looked more dangerous, not dangerous, but too close from the inside. So yeah, this car is actually quite big for the... Oh, it's enough for, for this parking space. I mean, this car can park itself uh, at the Frankfurt airport, 
we saw that without the driver so it's the only car in the world uh, as I'm as much as I know okay so maybe maybe the angle was too steep for me actually you know this is a uh, this is tight space not ultra tight but quite tight for for this car because this is like uh, Airbus A380 okay so it's fine now we can check how the how it how the how it parks but I can go out it's not that it's not that uh, narrow okay so in the front you can see oh it's okay it's great so that was probably too close to to do it uh, with the back because here you can see it's a lot of space so yeah very good the car is so big it sticks out as you can see quite a lot into the lane so it should be like like this so this is this is too much for the but I think it's not a big deal because you can maneuver here but if you compare this one and this it's like the car ends here the, the red one like here so you have a lot of additional space here okay so that was a success I have uh, some some uh, time so I can go now I would like to go this way okay now I need just uh, put it in reverse and the car can go okay so this rear active steering is just uh, fantastic it's quite I would say for 5.3 meter limousine uh, it's insane how this car can park so I will put this probably as a separate video too because many of you told me that you want to see this Okay, I'm just braking, but yeah, this car has, as you can see here. Yes. Okay. And now I should take over. So yeah. <laughs> okay. Good. So maybe we can go try try another one. But here uh, I want to go towards the top. As you can see here, all looks good. Okay, and it feels really good the maneuvering with this with this car. So you just slide in here and it will open and also the rear one if you press the button really huge panoramic roof i can even see the truck driver there so i'm going back to the garage here but we can try actually here to see you know how it's doing its thing but we can go i think here But it's yeah it's very easy to maneuver with this one you can try maybe maybe over there okay so let's see if it can recognize these parking spaces Probably the lines are not 
the lines need to be painted and this is like a, what is it a cobblestone the lines are not really to be fair to the car the lines are not really painted they are almost blending in so yeah this is not possible and like turning with this car is so easy thanks to the uh, rear active this is i wouldn't think actually i would like i was like maybe this is a little bit good but this is uh, really good and useful so without this it's much more difficult to drive but also i want to see cameras I don't want to to curb these wheels. You can also see here from this side how it's looking with curbs. Very nice, very nice. And from this side, okay, more space here. You know, so thanks to this system, you will not curb wheels even if you like go yourself so that's really really good you know these like uh, surfaces very very uh, very nice smooth aromatic over these bumps it's not like it's jumping but it's very safe so yeah inside we have painted lines so this should help help the car so we are maybe here yeah this should be good okay yes yes okay and i want to go uh, backwards okay so let's see Okay, so let's see. So closer to this line, but maybe now it was like taking into consideration not lines, but the, how far is it from the cars? Because now it's parking around the car. So from this side is also good. So yeah. For this parking spot I would give a 10 out of 10. Is the same uh, same uh, size on the left side and also on the on the on the right side and also on the left side okay so i think it can go also out of the space uh yes here you can see it can go here or here so i think uh, i would go there so now just press and put it in drive and it will go out of the space but always have a foot on the brake just to be safe to be ready and to be honest i could do this myself but it's nice to have nice uh, for some drivers which uh, could be too much for them like too difficult then maybe in stress other drivers could be like beeping behind them so uh, yeah for those kind of people this could be really useful and this is a real life test not not in his stage here guys okay so very nice uh, indeed so um, yeah as i said parallel parking and i don't have time for this 
uh, at the moment and but I'm sure can, the, the car is capable to do parallel parking not the not the big deal all right guys so now I want to show you the digital lights how they work during night and also it's quite easy to maneuver with this car thanks to the rear active steering okay so now we can set it on auto for the lights you can see mercedes star on the hood it looks really good so we will go soon on the highway and i think this will be extensive um, light test we have also here the fog not much a little bit So this test should be quite interesting. I have attached um, external microphone to the camera, so hopefully you can hear me clearly better than before. And uh, we will see how will be the overall audio levels, but I think it will be all right. The cabin is very quiet. However, if we compare, then this will be uh, more quiet with summer tires and also with petrol engine so right now and this is diesel engine and winter tires so uh, if you if you can say that the less quiet version of the s class we also have a single uh, single glass not double glazed windows But even like this, this is really, really comfortable. So right now the high beam is on and it is on automatic. So the spot where is the car, it's clearly um, the car in front of me is not blinded by the lights. But you, as you can see on the right side, we have more light I will also dim my screens because during night it's better to dim the interior screens Now we are cruising with the Distronic system. We have active line keeping assist. And we are cruising now on the top speed of the Slovak freeway system, which is 130 kilometers per hour or 80 miles per hour. This road surface is not the best, so uh, that's that. We have also some wind noise because it's quite windy outside. But other than that, this is uh, the quietest car, actually, which I test drove in my life. And according to many people, uh, they had similar experience. Even some top level people which already drove uh, limousines of all kinds of brands so this is pretty impressive what uh, Mercedes has done here so right now I have tell you 1400 rpms and this speed so the engine is in super we can say uh, 
relaxing mode. So we will try that and see how it works. Thank you for letting me uh, to go. So this is a 400 diesel formatic, the most powerful diesel for this lineup of the S-Class. Also for formatic means all-wheel drive system. So I can actually display how much brake accelerator and what kind of uh, data we are using with the engine. So with digital lights, as you can see, the right side of the highway is always lighted up and when, where the, the car can see other vehicles and the uh, light is dimmed. These lights can also project symbols like roadworks and stuff like that on the road, but that's limited based on the, on the country. So here in my country it is locked. Uh, I don't know uh, details why it is like that, but it's locked and in some countries it works. So I cannot actually show you uh, this particular feature. You can see, however, the road signs are nicely lighted up. So 9G Tronic gearbox is just uh, so smooth. It's absolutely crazy so we have 7.1 liters per 100 kilometers going a little bit uphill here with the s-class so let me know what you think about these lights these are actually the best lights which you can get in a car so the, the night turns into the day with these lights definitely so now i lowered the speed to 120 kilometers per hour which is around, uh, I think, 70, 72 maybe uh, miles per hour. And we'll also lower even more because I'm simulating now speeds uh, which are in different part, uh, parts of the world because not every country has the same speed limit. And uh, you my audience viewers are from the different countries so that's why I wanted to test that so uh, fuel consumption lowers with us with the speed that's obvious so around 100 kilometers per hour if you go or 62 miles per hour you should have the best fuel consumption actually and rpms for those which are interested at uh, are down by 100 so 1300 rpms at 120 kilometers per hour or 70 around 70 miles per hour so that was blind spot monitor i turned it the indicator on the purpose so we can test how that works so now on 110 kilometers per hour and RPMs are at 1,200. So 110 kilometers per hour, I will put how much is that in uh, miles per hour. Maybe 65 or, or 67, around that number. Now it actually lowers the speed because my route guidance is uh, at the rear, but I'm not, not doing that. So. I will just to the 100 kilometers per hour to test the noise levels and RPMs at that speed. And we have also some worse tarmac, so we can test the air suspension. So actually at 100 kilometers per hour or 62 miles per hour, we are at 8 gear, so not 9 gear. So if we go to 110, then the car shifts into the 9th gear, which is interesting. So it's not even necessary to go uh, 
100 just because of the fuel consumption so now at 110 we are in 9 gear 1200 rpms so that's very low and we have also some uh, we had some fog so yeah guys let me know what you think about these lights I think they are superb absolutely amazing the night turns into the day with these lights and you have also beautiful light show so absolutely amazing so guys if you enjoyed this video let me know in the comments like this video share with your friends subscribe hit the notification bell turn on all notification you know what to do thank you for your support and guys i will see you soon in the next video have a wonderful day